seeing videos that in my opinion are just bad advice. Keep your head down, keep your lead arm stiff or straight or restrict your hip turn, not good things. So we're going to talk about those today and we're going to help you play some better golf. Now as always, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We've got great information coming out on a regular basis. We've done some fantastic videos of late that are really transforming how people play the game. And also, hey, if you maybe like what I have to say or maybe you disagree, that's okay. I love the dialogue. I love the back and forth and maybe you can even teach me a few things when it comes to the game of golf. So let's get into this right away. Now, keep your head down this this tip has been around for years and I have to be honest I probably told somebody that at some point early in my career now let's first of all differentiate between keep your head down and looking at the ball I think that's what people are trying to say when they give this tip keep your head down but when you tell somebody to keep their head down what do you think happens well, typically it creates kind of stress or tension because they're trying to lock their head in on the golf ball. And know what that does is it restricts body movement. And if you look at some of the great players of all time, their head moves through the impact zone and their head starts to almost swivel and look towards the target. Now, why is that important? Well, because it allows their body to rotate. And most of us, we need more rotation in the golf swing. So my suggestion here is you should look at the ball, but look at the ball and don't be afraid though to let your head swivel and your head move. That is not a bad thing. And quite honestly, I think a little bit of head movement through the strike is something that can help a lot of people play better golf. So that's the number one thing I want to tell you is not keep your head down, but look at the ball, but do not be afraid to let your head move a little bit. And I think that's a great way to play the game. Now, the second tip or suggestion I hear a lot of people talk about is keep your lead arm straight. So I'm a right-handed golfer. So for me, that's my left arm. Now, once again, when we hear the word straight, it implies tension, okay? And you do not want tension in the golf swing. So when my lead arm is straight, people tend to lock it out. They get a lot of tension in their grip. That's just bad for their golf swing. Now, should the left arm be ex extended? Yes, I think it should be extended. Now, where is it at in the swing? Well, hey, some people play a lot of great golf. From maybe their swing's a little bit lower, more like on a flat or lower angle. Some are a little bit more upright. I'd be curious for you out there, where do you play your best golf? Do you feel like it's a little bit lower or do you like it a little bit higher? And you look at the PGA Tour, the LPGA Tour, you'll see lead arms in all kinds of different angles, but very seldom will you see one that's super straight or super locked. It's extended, but it's not locked. Now, what's the difference between straight and extended? Well, if I'm just a stand here, this is a test you can do at home. If I'm just a stand here and I let my arm just kind of hang, there's a natural bend in my arm. Okay, now everybody's is a little different. I have had some students who when they kind of stand here, their arm falls relatively straight. What I want to look for is I want whatever their natural bend is here, I want to see that same bend at the top of their backswing or in their backstroke. So that's a good way and a simple way for you to kind of test that out. So I'd be curious to kind of see what you have to say, like where do you like your lead arm to be in the backswing? Now, I didn't plan on talking about this, but it just came to me, so I want. I, I think this is important. So uh, I want to. I want to visit this real quick. The angle that it should be at. This is general. Okay. Like I said, some are up, some are down. I like to see the lead arm on an angle that's kind of relative to, like my shoulder angle. So if my shoulders are at this angle, all right, not this way, not that way. Okay, they're at this angle. As you can see, the club's kind of pointing. I like my lead arm to be kind of in a similar spot. I think that's where most people play their best golf. And, and before we're done here, at the very end, I'm going to give you a tip to get your arm in that position. So be sure to stay tuned to the end because I'm going to give you that little tip. So, all right, so that's the second one. Keep that lead arm extended, <laughs> not straight. Now, the third one, and this is the one I'm the most passionate about because uh, I'm not getting any younger. All right, I'm pushing 50 now. My body does not move like it used to. And so um, I need to be able to move and to pivot. So I hear a lot of golfers say, hey, and I even hear sometimes instructors say this, restrict your hip turn or keep your trail leg, which for me is my right leg, my right knee bent. Keep it bent, restrict the hip turn. Once again, I'm not saying that there's nobody who plays golf like that, but I just think that's bad advice, especially for you out there who are maybe even over 30, 35 years old, that's just bad advice. Now, why is that? Well, because when you restrict your hip turn, 
okay, whether it be just restricting it or keeping your trail leg, your right knee locked up, you're not able to rotate your shoulders in turn. Okay, so then what happens is, is that people complete their backswing with their arms and their wrists. So this is very common. They'll get set up, like, ah, oh, I got to keep my hips, I want to hit the ball further, so I got to restrict my hip turn. So they restrict their hip turn, and then based on their flexibility, they're not, a lot, they're not able to, to turn their upper body, so then they complete their backswing with just their arms and their wrists. Just a bad position for you to be in. So I'm going to suggest that you let your trail leg, okay, let it release a little bit, Release, that's the key word, it doesn't lock, it releases, and that allows your hips to turn. And as your hips turn, then your shoulders will turn, your upper body, your torso will turn, and you'll be able to get that club in a good position. So that's the third, third thing. Now, I promised you here at the end, I would give you a tip for getting that lead arm in a good backswing position. So here's what it is. What I want you to do, uh, you can do this with really any club. I've got, uh, I've got my seven iron right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grip it in my lead hand, my left hand only, and I'm going to just take it and I'm going to put it kind of on top of my left pec muscle. So notice how I'm taking it, I'm kind of going on top, I'll do it from this angle here, taking my lead arm and I'm connecting it right up here. So I feel like my lead arm is on top of my, kind of my rib cage, my pec muscle right here. And that creates a connection point, okay? So this would be not connected, connected. Now when you make your backswing, Feel like you keep that connected. Feel like that stays connected. And what that'll do is that'll get your lead arm at the same angle of your shoulders. Now, if you're still not feeling that, you could do something as simple. I'm going to show you right here. Okay? I'm going to take my glove. I'm going to put it kind of underneath my lead arm. Put it on top. Put it underneath there. And then I can make some swings with that under there. That will also give me that feel and get that lead arm in a good spot. I'm not saying, okay, that nobody can play golf because they can keep their head down. What I'm saying is that creates tension. There's a difference between head down all right, and looking at the ball. You need to see the ball, but you can see the ball and let your head swivel. Quite honestly, I think some of the best ball strikers of all time, their heads have rotated through the strike zone while they're still looking. My eyes are looking, but my head's rotating and moving. That's number one. Number two, create some get your left arm extended, not straight, whatever your natural bend is, let it do that. Number three, let the hips turn, okay? Let the hips turn so you can get that club nice and in good backswing position, okay? And those three things are going to definitely help you out. That's going to help you play better golf.